Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be trying out, demoing, and giving you my first impression on all three of the brand new Hourglass Holiday 2022 palettes. So I did pick up all three, but I'm going to try on all three palettes, show you close-ups and swatches, just give you my first impression on how the products look, and tell you which one I think would work best for you know each skin tone. I'm sure you've seen videos already. I've been having some uh, shipping woes, if you will. So it's been a struggle over here, but I am doing my best to get these videos up for you guys. So of course, I will link this uh, down below, all of the information about the Hourglass, where you can get them. And then I will link my makeup. I am wearing the new Natasha eyeshadow palette today and I am planning to do a video on that but you know the shipping woes and just situations happening I'm a little bit behind so I thought I would start with this. So if you're new here I hope you stick around and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos please give this video a thumbs up and I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this year, Hourglass did come out with three different options for their ambient lighting palettes, which are limited edition, and they typically do this every holiday. Usually they only do like one or two, and we've all been sort of begging for years to have more inclusivity, some deeper tones, some richer blushes. They did give it to us this year, so I feel like it's a step in the right direction. So these are $85 each. They are limited edition. They're vegan and cruelty free, and these are really special because because they have this gorgeous artwork, which of course I'm gonna show you close-ups. So this is artwork by an illustrator, Katie Scott, and they are going to donate 5% of profits to the Non-Human Rights Project in efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. So that's a pretty good chunk. I feel honestly good about buying this. Now, let's be real, nobody needs makeup. This is something that really just spoke to me more so than any of the palettes in the past. First of all, I love the packaging. I love the animal sort of twist on it, and I think it's done beautifully. Editing Babs here, I don't know how I missed this, but you can make these customizable. So if you want the elephant outer packaging, but the colors in the tiger palette suit you more, you can customize them and vice versa. So if you want the butterfly outer packaging, but you want the elephant color story, you can do that on the Hourglass website and it's no extra charge, which makes these super special. When I see it in person or when I saw these in person, I was really wowed at just the quality of the packaging, the artwork, it's beautiful. Number two, I love supporting anything to do with animals. I'm a huge animal lover. And number three, I feel like they really did bring it with some of the blush tones that are a little bit more you know, intense or different undertones than the typical just like light, you know, nudie pink sort of vibe, specifically the tiger palette. And I am interested to try the butterfly palette. So I will link these down below, but I wanna get into each palette separately because I want to sort of focus on one, apply it, and then move to the next. Otherwise, I feel like it's getting a little bit confusing because some of these palettes have a couple existing shades and it's just a lot to take in. These palettes are also made in Italy and they have a 12-month shelf life as well. So I want to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to start off with the Elephant palette. So this is the box packaging for the Elephant. Look how gorgeous this art is and wait till you see the actual palette. So the palette has the same artwork and it is really high quality. This is not just like a sticker printed on. This is not going to scratch off. I love the just coral color behind it. It's absolutely stunning. This is also a tin, which I like and it feels nice and heavy. And then you open up the palette. You have six different shades and this also does come with a mirror. So the Elephant palette has four brand new shades, two existing. The two existing are Dim Light and Soft Light. Then we have the brand new beaming strobe light. We also have the radiant rose blush, iridescent coral blush, and then the lustrous bronze light. You know, I feel like I can't spit this out. I'm trying to read off the papers I printed off because I want to make sure that I'm correct. It's confusing because we have so many different palettes. So overall, you have a brand new highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer, which are all new, and then you have two of the uh, finishing powders. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I really want to see how they swatch. Now, keep in mind the finishing 
powders are not going to swatch great because they are finishing powders, but I'm hoping that we get some beautiful swatching off of these shades. So looking at the swatches, everything swatched how I thought it would. I feel like this palette would be best for light to medium skin tones, but I do want to get it on the face to really see. So I have my foundation on, I have the Hourglass foundation on, and then I did powder my face just because that's how I roll, but I want to start applying and I'm going to try to use these palettes as much as possible. I'm not sure yet how I'm really going to do this, but we're just going to start with this palette and then go from there. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go in with the new shade, which is that bronzer, and I want to see how this blends on the skin. Now, it does appear to have a glow to it, and I feel like that's sort of the vibe with Hourglass products. So this is not something that you're going to get like a matte contour with. It's going to give you a really nice sheen, make your skin look healthy and bronzed. So, so far, so good. It's really pretty. It's definitely warm, but I like the tone. Okay, next I'm going to go into this blush right here, which is a new shade. And I have a clean brush. Of course, I'm going to be building these up pretty heavy. I mean, I like a heavy blush regardless, but I really want you to see. So it's applying pretty lightly, so I'm going to go in and be a little bit more aggressive. So this is the blush that I said had more of a glow. So with a glow, you know, it is going to enhance your texture and pores. That's kind of what's interesting about Hourglass is it does, but it's done very beautifully. They're finely milled and they're not harsh. They just sort of blend into the skin so you look overall like ethereal. Definitely more of a buildable blush. Could also be that my brush really isn't super dense. So this is the blush, very pretty. Definitely has like a gold sheen to it, but it's really beautiful. So now I wanna go in with the other blush on the other side. This is called Radiant Rose. This one looks definitely more like purple or cool toned, and it's not as glowy. So I noticed the one is named Iridescent Coral, this one is Radiant. So they all have some sort of like radiance to them, but this one doesn't have as much of a glowy sheen. They're not too different, which part of me says, well, you could use them together, but they really don't look that different on the skin other than this one is more glowy, and then this one is less glowy, but they both have a very similar color, so I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more difference in the color, but I think they're both pretty. Okay, so on both sides, I'm gonna go in with the brand new strobe light highlighter. This looks like it could be a little dark in the pan. I think it's just sort of deceiving. So I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my face. It's really beautiful, definitely gold, but it does work beautifully. I mean, I just feel like it's really glowy, it works beautifully with this palette and the colors in it. So this is what we're looking like with all four shades on. I typically am not a huge fan of like the finishing powders, but I thought I'll just go in and try one or just to demo it. So I'm gonna go in to the middle one. Again, this is an existing shade and these are more so to sort of sweep over your skin as a finishing powder. For me, they have a little bit of a glow to them and I think you know, I'm always just trying to keep my face looking as smooth as possible, so I usually don't do this step, but I know a lot of people do, and it really gives you that seamless sort of look. Okay, so this is the Elephant applied to the skin. I think this is beautiful, but I'm not surprised. You guys predicted this would be my favorite. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It really just gives you that ethereal glow. I like that it has a bronzer. I do wish the blushes would have been a little bit more different. On the skin, they look quite similar from afar. When you look up close, you can definitely tell that the coral has more glow to it 100%, and that the rose is a little bit more subdued in terms of glow, but they are quite similar. I would have liked maybe a little bit more variation in the blushes, but I really think a lot of people are going to love this palette because it's not as loud or intense as the other palettes from what I've seen. Overall, I love this palette. I think we all knew I would with those pink blushes. So what I'm going to do is wipe off everything, reapply my makeup, and then we're going to get in next to the butterfly palette. 
Okay, so I went ahead and just removed my cheeks and my forehead area to save some time. It probably doesn't look perfect because I'm working with powders and foundations that are liquid, but we're just gonna roll with it and then I'm going to remove everything before we get to the Tiger palette for my final look. But I wanna get into the Butterfly palette. And here is the packaging on the palette. It has a gold back with the beautiful butterflies and the H logo. It's just really beautiful. So here is the inside of the Butterfly palette. Blushes look really intense, so I'm intrigued. So out of the three, the Butterfly has the least amount of new shades. This palette has three brand new shades and three existing. So this one right here is Ethereal Light. This is an existing shade. We also have Incandescent Light, which is an existing shade as well. Then we have the new blush in Soft Flush. And then we go down here, Existing Shade. This is Diffused Light. Then we have a new blush in Sunset Glow. And then we have a new Celestial Strobe Light Powder. So this is new, this is new, and this is new, and then these finishing powders are existing. So looking at the swatches of this one, I feel like it's a little bit much with the finishing powders. I really would have liked to see a bronzer or maybe a blush that wasn't similar to these two. I feel like this palette is gonna be for fair to light skin tones, but you're gonna have to use a light hand with the blushes. And I'm a little bit sort of confused by just, I don't know, all three of these finishing powders with those really intense blushes. Now I love intense blushes, so I'm probably gonna like them but I just feel like we could have used maybe like one bronzer to bring some warmth in or something like that. This is gonna be the palette for those of you that like a strong cheek and a really, you know, glowy highlight sort of icy look just from my swatches and my thoughts looking at those swatches. So we're gonna go ahead and start off. I don't think I'm gonna apply a bronzer just because I'm gonna wipe this off anyways. So let's start off with this shade right here, which is one of the new blushes on this side. So I'm using a brand new brush that's clean and I'm gonna dip in and I'm going to apply it pretty heavily just so you can see this blush is called sunset glow so this brush is shedding great okay definitely see a glow I don't really think this is as intimidating as I thought now I will say I do powder my face so if you apply these on an unset face I could see this being intimidating but I dipped in now four times so I feel like you could dip in once, tap your brush off, and get a subtle look. I don't think you necessarily have to be super careful unless you have an unset base. So this is Sunset Glow. It definitely has a glow. It's really beautiful. It's not as glowy as that coral one from the elephant, but it's sort of in the middle. That's really pretty. Okay, so on the other side, I wanna go in with Soft Flush. So this is the other blush I'm using a new brush. So I dipped in and then just sort of tap my brush off and I feel like this is not as intimidating as just my impression. So this is two light layers. So I'm rubbing my brush in and I'm not going to pat off. If you're using these on top of a set face, I don't think they're scary at all. I know there's been some blushes that were like, whoa, like the Pat McGrath Bridgerton blushes. I'm not getting that vibe, I'm getting pigmented but buildable. So comparing the blushes, I definitely think they're different enough because the Sunset Glow is a little bit more glowy and it has that really beautiful like coral, peachy, burnt sort of aspect to it. Whereas the Soft Flush, I felt like you had to build a little bit more and it has more of just like a pink soft flush, but they both just give you a beautiful glow to your cheeks. So I wanna go in with the brand new highlighter shade. This is called the Metallic Strobe Powder in Celestial Strobe Light. So I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty intense. So I'm gonna get a brush real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna start applying. Oh yeah, okay. So this, I can see why this would be good for lighter skin tones because you're gonna to have to be careful when you're straight on with seeing a stripe if you have pretty much probably anything medium or deeper or you just have to really like that beaming i mean whoo that's beaming it's gorgeous but you have to like that look but it's definitely strobin okay and i'm just going to use one of the finishing powders again very lightly i'm going to dip into this one right here just to sort of go over everything but this is probably gonna be a little bit light. So you definitely wanna be careful if you have a medium or a deeper skin tone. 
Okay, so this is what the butterfly looks like applied. I have a couple thoughts. The first thing is, keep in mind, I don't have bronzer on, so it may look a little bit unfinished. But I do think that the blushes in here are not as intimidating as I would have thought or as I'd seen some other reviewers say. Now it could be, again, people that don't use a lot of powder products. And so if you're gonna put these on an unset face, I could see them grabbing and being quite intense. But I don't think that they're so scary that you know lighter skin tones couldn't use these and enjoy them. Again, my complaint would be all three of these finishing powders, it seems a bit excessive. And I think the highlighter in here really is a little too icy for my liking. I feel like I'm not as into the super intense, like icy highlighters as I used to be, and I much prefer the one in the Elephant palette. But if you have a lighter skin tone, I think it's gonna be gorgeous because it really does, you know, glow. It's very intense. So overall, I feel like this palette is probably my least favorite, only because I just feel like I'm not gonna get you know, much use out of these three shades. And I would have liked to see them, you know, come out with maybe four new shades. And again, replace one of these with a bronzer. I'm not really sure why they didn't. But I think this is gonna be the palette for those of you that really like that brightened, glowy look because there's a lot of those finishing powders in there that are very, very light. And then that highlighter that's really, really beaming. But I think the blushes are gorgeous. I mean, are we surprised? The blushes are the one thing that I really love about this palette. So I'm not, you know, mad that I bought it. I definitely wanted to review it for you guys, but I probably would only reach for the blushes out of this for me personally. So I'm going to wipe off all my makeup, really redo it, and then we're going to go in with the final palette, which I'm really excited to try, which is the Tiger. Okay, so I'm back. I redid my base and I want to hop into the Tiger palette. So this is the box packaging of the Tiger palette. I love the turquoise with the Tigers. And then the outer packaging on the palette is just so beautiful. They did an amazing job on this. And here is the inside of the Tiger palette. Lots of really rich deep tones. Now the Tiger palette has four brand new shades and two existing so I was happy to see that. So this is an existing shade and this is a finishing powder in Transcendent Light. Then we have a new Brilliant Glow Strobe Light Powder. Then we have a new Burnish Glow Blush, which I'm really excited about. And then we go down here, we have a new Divine Strobe Light. We have a new Copper Flash Strobe Light. And then we have an existing Iridescent Rose Blush. So I'm happy to see there's only two existing shades in here. I think this blush is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really happy to see they finally came out with a deeper option. I want them to continue on this path and continue to expand and give us more more punchy, deep, rich shades. So I wanna go ahead and swatch this. So everything swatched beautifully, which doesn't surprise me. I really am so excited to try this blush up here. And then this is actually a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as a blush topper. And then this is a finishing powder. Of course, it won't work for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use this as a bronzer. So we'll just play around and see what we can do, but let's get into the demo. So I'm gonna start off with this finishing powder. Again, this is a finishing powder for deeper complexions, but I'm going to use it as a bronzer. Obviously, this is deep for my complexion, but because it is a finishing powder, I may be able to get it to work because they're generally more sheer. And this is an existing shade, so this is not a new shade, but I just wanted to try to use the palette as much as possible if you do want to purchase it and you are a lighter skin tone. And I'm gonna take this over my nose just to sort of blend in because I do always put like a bronzer around my nose. I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna be super bronzy and glowy. Okay, so I feel like it works as bronzer. It's a little deep for me, but I feel like if you're around my skin tone and you do self tan, you can just use a light hand and it does work. So I wanna go in next. I was gonna go in with this blush, but it's an existing one. Let me just go in with the one that I'm excited about, which is that new orange shade. Now this, I think, is going to be very pigmented. So I'm using a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start building. There she is. Okay, so this is definitely pigmented. It's so beautiful though, and you know I'm just going to go for some more here. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go in for one more layer because I really want you to see 
it's beautiful. I don't think that it's too much for my skin tone. I really don't. You saw how I, you know, built these up. I feel like if you're taking a dense brush and you're slamming it in there and going straight onto an unset face, yes, you're going to be like, whoa. But if you just use a fluffy brush, tap off and build, gorgeous. Woo. I love that. So on the other cheek, I am going to go in with the existing blush just because I want to show you, you know, all the different colors. I mean, this is a gorgeous blush and it's definitely different from the orange one. So because I want to try this shade, I'm going to take the new Copper Flash, which is actually a strobe highlight. And I want to use this. I'm just going to use that same brush on this side of my face, just like a little bit of a blush topper. So this definitely works as a topper if you have a skin tone like I do. I'm actually gonna take a little bit and put it back here on this side. The glow is just so pretty. Doesn't really go with my eye makeup. I didn't, I didn't think that through, but. And then I do wanna try the new strobe highlighter. It's probably gonna be too deep for me, but I'm just gonna use a light hand. I just wanna see. Okay, so it's really not as deep as I thought. From the front though, probably seeing a cast. So this would probably be one that I would use like more so on my eyes, but it is pretty. I mean, it's not incredibly, incredibly deep, but it's just a little bit of a cast from the front. So again, just a little bit too deep for my skin tone. So I think I'm just gonna take the brush from the original elephant palette with the finishing powder just to sort of go over this because the finishing powder in the tiger is you know way too deep for my skin just to kind of blend everything because I know this palette is really not intended for my skin tone but you know I wanted to try to use as many shades as possible so here is the tiger applied to my face. I did use, you know, as many shades as possible. I was mixing and matching. So keep in mind that it probably does look a little over the top, but I really wanted you to see the shades. This is absolutely gorgeous. I even like the bronzer. I'll have to look at my footage, but I really feel like it did bronze my face up quite a bit. It wasn't even a bronzer. It's not a bronzer, but the finishing powder that I used as a bronzer, I think that it actually did work. So for me, I would use this as a bronzer. If you're lighter than me, I don't know if it would work for you. You'd have to use a really light hand. But what is beautiful about these palettes is I feel like you can just sort of mix and match. You can blend in a little bit here and a little bit there and they all just go together beautifully because they have that gorgeous glow to them. I knew I would like the blushes in the Tiger palette. I didn't think that I would like that finishing powder as a bronzer, but here we are. So now I want to just go over my final thoughts and tell you guys which palette I think is the best, my favorite, which I would recommend and which I think you should pass on. So after playing around with all of the palettes, you guys guessed it elephant I think is my favorite there's a close second but the elephant I'm just a sucker for the gorgeous pink blushes I wish they were a little bit different but overall I think they're gorgeous and they just look like a beautiful flush on the cheeks the bronzer is beautiful as well and I think the highlighter is great because while it's beaming it's not you know, ashy or icy on my skin tone. So this is probably my favorite, the one that I will probably use the most because it has a bronzer, highlighter, blushes, everything that works for my skin tone. So it does make sense. Now my second favorite, and again, I'm gonna have to keep trying these, but you know what, the Tiger is gorgeous. I was honestly anticipating really only being able to use these two shades, the new blush and then the existing blush, but I'm happy to report that you can use this as a blush or a blush topper. It's not over the top shimmery that I feel like it looks, you know, jarring on the cheeks. It definitely does enhance texture and give you a glow, but it really does have enough pigment behind it to make it a blush topper for my skin tone. And then this, I think is a beautiful bronzer. Again, I'm gonna have to look at my footage and sort of, you know, see if everything's looking okay. I'm also wiping my makeup on and off three separate times, so I'm doing my best here, but I'm so happy to see Hourglass listen to feedback finally and come out with a 
a more inclusive palette with deeper, richer tones. And again, I do think that if you are a lighter skin tone, you can use this on your eyes and you can mix and match and really have fun with it. I don't think that the shades in here are so over the top, deep, rich, and pigmented that other skin tones can't enjoy this as well. You just have to customize it to your skin tone and your preferences. So really, really love this one too. Now the one that I'll probably use the least has to be the Butterfly. I'm a little surprised because when I was looking at the promo videos, I actually was drawn to the models wearing the Butterfly. They just had this like bitten red cheeks with this gorgeous glow. I think what's throwing me off on this is the fact that there's just so many finishing powders that are all very similar and this is a little bit icy for me. And then when you pair the icy highlight with the, you know, flush cheek on my skin, it just looked a little bit ashy. So for me, the blushes are beautiful, but I feel like we could have, you know, taken out one of these, added a bronzer, done something a little bit different. So overall, I think honestly, every single palette is gorgeous. And I think you have to keep in mind your preferences and your skin tone. So if you like a beaming highlighter and really bright under eyes and a glow with flush cheeks, then you would really love the butterfly. But if you want something every day that's kind of gonna be the middle of the road, you know, the baby doll, just glowy cheeks and you're my skin tone, then you would like the elephant. And if you have a deeper skin tone or you just want those beautiful copper, just sort of burnt flushed colors, then you would go with the tiger. You get what I'm saying. So I think that they smashed it this year between the gorgeous packaging and artwork to donating to a great cause and then finally listening and giving us a deeper option for deeper complexions. It's a great start. I think this is one of my favorite launches from Hourglass ever. I think these are absolutely stunning. I mean, they just feel expensive. I know they are expensive, but they really are a gorgeous piece to have in your collection to look at, but to also use. The colors are gorgeous. The formula is gorgeous. So I recommend these. I just think you have to decide which one would work best for you. So do let me know your thoughts down below on how these applied on my skin. Let me know if you pick these up or if you're passing over them or if you're sort of eyeing them and you can't decide. Of course, I will link the palettes down down below as well as all the other makeup I'm wearing. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.